אזרחי ישראל, אנחנו במלחמה. לא במבצע, לא בסבבים, במלחמה. Israel has formally declared war after that unprecedented multi-pronged terror attack from Hamas. A dark cloud has just fallen over Israel. Israel and Palestine are at war. In judging by the progress, the effects might be worse than that of the 1948 Arab-Israel war. On 7th October 2023, the Palestinian militant group Hamas initiated an attack on Israel, launching over 3,000 rockets and even breaching the Gaza-Israel barrier. The Israeli government had to react as they couldn't take such an attack lightly, especially when over 1,400 Israeli lost lives. Israel's counteraction was to hit Hamas back in the same fashion. And through the IDF, Israel Defense Forces, Israel dropped about 6,000 bombs on Gaza, forcing thousands to run for their lives. As of 16th October, more than 2,800 people lost their lives in Gaza alone, in addition to 1,400 recorded during the first attack. While there's so much controversy surrounding the war and even countries like the United States and Russia taking sides, what has been trending is the armored cars the IDF has been using to eliminate Hamas in Gaza. A Saka enthusiast who is really into armored and military vehicles, I had to find out what these cars are and why they have been so effective in demolishing the Hamas in Gaza. Well, I'll share the top 5 as the Israel Defense Force has a myriad of armored vehicles it uses. You have to check out the armored vehicle number 1. It could be the IDF's best kept military secret. In number 5, AIL Storm. The AIL Storm is the IDF's workhouse. This Jeep Wrangler inspired off road vehicle produced by Israel Automotive Industries Limited is sometimes known as the Jeep J8 due to its resemblance with the Jeep Wrangler. Interestingly, while the AIL Storm is essentially an IDF military vehicle, some models are aimed at exporting the civilian market. So, you could own your own AIL Storm if you want to. Production for the AIL Storm began in 1990 and continues up to date. So, as far as its looks are concerned, the Israeli Defense Force plans to use this military vehicle for a long time. Part of its success has been its armored characteristics, but we can't overlook its off-road capability. Its ability to tackle the most extreme terrains is just unsurpassed. This vehicle allows easy fitting of a machine gun and other arsenals. When fitted with an M40 recoilless rifle, it can directly fire over the blast guard hood instead of doing it perpendicularly as it's with most war vehicles. What's more, some security variants of the AIL Storm have an extended canopy that may serve as a mobile command station. Meanwhile, its armored version offers protection against a 0.3 inch armor piercing ammunition. The IDF seems to be using both the security and armored versions while leaving the civilian version to private consumers. In number 4, Plasson Sandcat. The Plasson Sandcat is a lightly armored military vehicle manufactured by Israeli vehicle manufacturer Plasson. This armored vehicle was first revealed in 2005 during an Association of the United States Army event. Interestingly, the vehicle has been used in the ongoing Mexican drug war which began in 2006 and the second Nagano-Karabakh war whose genesis was in 2020. Since its first production in 2004, over 700 Plasan sand guards have been made and dispatched to over 16 countries for military use. So, while Israel enjoys the lion's share of these armored vehicles, there are other beneficiaries such as Ukraine, Colombia, Bulgaria, Azerbaijan, Mexico, Poland, Sweden, Nigeria, and Uganda, among others. But, why is the Israeli Defense Force so obsessed with this military vehicle? The car is slightly armored and was seen as a perfect replacement for the heavily armored AIL Storm I reviewed earlier, even though the goal hasn't been fully realized. It's an orthodox trapezoidal window save on using heavy and thick armored glass while also improving the viewing angles. Most Suncut models are fully enclosed to offer maximum protection. A few others, however, have an open top rear side to provide extra cargo space. Wait a minute. I know you're enjoying this video. What about you give me a thumbs up by liking it, then subscribe and hit that notification bell for the latest epic videos. Let's continue. Number 3. Humvee The high-mobility multi-purpose wheel vehicle, or simply Humvee, is a two-door or four-door lightly armored truck originating from the USA. 
American Heavy Vehicle Automatic Manufacturer, AM General, makes it. The vehicle has been used in several wars, including the Cold War, the Somali Civil War, the Arab-Israeli Conflict, the Mexican Drug War, and the recent Russian-Ukrainian War. So, it's not surprising that the Israeli Defense Force is using it for the second time to combat the Hamas in Gaza. Since its first production in 1984, over 281,000 Humvees have been made and exported to different countries. This Hamad vehicle comes with a 3-speed or a 4-speed automatic transmission and relishes a top speed of 55 miles per hour at maximum gross weight. So you're looking at a vehicle geared for the battlefront. Its 25-gallon tank allows it to outlast most military vehicles, while its V8 diesel engine is just what an army vehicle needs in combat. Initially, the Humvee was designed only for the light cargo and personal transportation behind the front line and not to be used as a frontline vehicle. However, following the damage suffered by the crew using the vehicle during the Mogadishu war and their property, changes were made to its design. The vehicle can now withstand smaller firearms and has an armored passenger space characterized by bullet-resistant glass and hardened steel. In number 2, IDF Asherit. The Asherit is a heavily armored military personnel carrier whose origin dates to the 1985-2000 to South Lebanon conflict, the 2002nd Intifada Palestinian War and the 2006 Lebanon War. The military vehicle is also currently used in the Gaza war, and the reasons aren't surprising. Interestingly, the ADF Asherit can resist armor-piercing projectiles capable of destroying conventional IFVs. According to the manufacturer, Nimda, this vehicle can stand against repeat APFSDS hits. Largely, that's because 14 tons of its gross weight is composite guns. This military vehicle is fitted with three 7.62mm machine guns. It features a bulletproof glass turret that allows the commander to view the outside without being at risk of being shot down. Some archery models have now been upgraded with the Samsung Remote Control Weapon Station instead of the original Raphael Overhead Weapon Station to allow automatic or remote control operations from a designated command base. Sadly, Several Asherites were captured on 7th October 2023 by the Palestinian military in Nahal Oz in southern Israel. Who knows how Palestinian forces might plan to use these armored vehicles against the Israeli defense forces. In number 1, the Wolf. Expect a beast of a car for the popular IDF armored vehicle, Wolf, which the Israeli Defense Force has used since 2006. Hatihot designed the armored vehicle and it's currently manufactured by Kama Integrated Vehicle Solutions and Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. Since launching, only 150 units have been made, making it such a rare military vehicle. The Wolf weighs 8 tons and is about 5.75 meters long, 2.38 meters wide and 2.35 meters high. So, you're looking at an actual beast of a car whose size allows it to accommodate a 12-member crew. The armored vehicle has a 6-liter V8 turbo diesel engine with a 5-speed automatic transmission to outcompete most military vehicles on the battlefront. Though the Wolf is primarily designed for the IDF, several countries have featured it in their military arsenal including Brazil, Peru, Ethiopia, Georgia, North Macedonia, and Romania. Part of the vehicle's strongest selling points has been its armor covering the crew compartment, the wheels, and the automotive elements. Moreover, its hull roof offers the possibility of a remote weapon station, enabling the users to engage the enemy without exposure. Other IDF armored vehicles that could have made the list if it was a top 9 video list, then these 4 armored vehicles used by the ADF in the Israeli-Palestinian war could have made the cut. MDT David, The Opec, Jaguar Combat Robot, Nama. MDT David. The MDT David is an ultralight military-grade armored vehicle specifically assembled for the IDF. This armored vehicle is inspired by the Land Rover Defender and to an extent the Toyota Land Cruiser. The Opec Armored Vehicle. The OFEC is an IDF armored vehicle inspired by the outdated Makava MK2 military tank chassis. It has a similar protection level as the original Makava MK2 battle tank as the original Makava MK2 battle tank, accommodating up to 10 troops once the ammunition is unloaded. Jaguar Combat Robot 
The Jaguar is a military car built by the Israeli Aerospace Industries capable of self-driving and replacing soldiers on the battlefront. This remote-controlled vehicle can self-drive to a predetermined location while the operator is miles away at the command station. Nama Lastly, the Nama is another Makava battle-inspired IDF vehicle. It is inspired by the Makava Mark IV battle tank classic and has been used by the IDF since 2008. Now you know the armored vehicles the Israeli Defense Forces uses to fight the Hamas. As cool as the military vehicles are, our prayer is that the war will soon end and no more lives will be lost. In the meantime, here is another video on future concept cars you must see that you love. See you there.